the real working IMM suits. This is the real functioning prototype based on the suit that you see in the film. Keanu Rust, a 22-year-old from Queensburg near Durban, is turning heads with his remarkable achievement of building a life-size suit inspired by Marvel's Iron Man. Having matriculated in 2020, Keanu has always had a passion for engineering and design, despite not pursuing a formal education in the field. His love for tinkering and creating started early, and with the help of his various jobs, he was able to begin this massive project in his spare time. After graduating from high school, Rust held various jobs, from working at an engineering company to becoming a personal trainer at a gym. It was his job at the engineering company that first taught him how to work with metals and build machine parts, providing him with the essential skills he would later use to bring his superhero dreams to life. Despite this early experience, Rust did not continue with formal studies in engineering due to the high costs and other life circumstances that he preferred not to detail. Yet his passion remained strong, proving that sometimes dedication and hands-on experience can be just as powerful as formal education. Keanu's Iron Man suit project took two years to complete, and he worked on it solely in his spare time. Every paycheck he earned was carefully budgeted to allow him to purchase materials, and he estimates the prototype cost him between 30,000 Rand and 40,000 Rand. While this may seem like a significant investment, Keanu is far from finished. He is actively seeking sponsors and investors who share his vision and are willing to help him take the project to the next level. Russ's first prototype of the Iron Man suit, which Marvel purists may recognize as resembling War Machine more than Iron Man himself, is a stunning example of craftsmanship and ingenuity. The suit is constructed from a combination of aluminum and carbon fiber, making it both strong and relatively lightweight for its size. But what truly sets Rust's creation apart is the attention to detail and the inclusion of functional weaponry. Though designed to only shoot blanks, the suit features a replica Gatling gun mounted on the back, as well as arm-mounted guns capable of firing 9mm rounds. However, the barrel openings are intentionally small, only 3mm in diameter to ensure that live rounds cannot be fired, making the weapon safe while still maintaining a degree of functionality. This creative use of steel and aluminum components speaks to Rust's ingenuity and ability to work within the constraints of both safety and realism. Creating these weapons was no small feat. Rust says it took him a month and a half just to design and construct them. They are triggered by small handles mounted on the armor's wrists with buttons allowing him to fire the guns independently. The current prototype can hold six rounds in each arm, but Russ hopes to improve on this design in future versions, aiming for a capacity of 12 rounds per arm. The shoulder-mounted weapon, which can fire 10 rounds, also adds to the suit's impressive arsenal. Though his prototype is already a marvel, Rust is constantly thinking of ways to improve his suit. In addition to increasing the firepower, he has also incorporated practical features such as holders for spare magazine, cleverly concealed in the thighs of the suit. Almost like something out of Robocop, this feature allows for quicker reloading in the heat of battle, or in this case, demonstrations. He also designed a small rocket launcher, mounted on the shoulder which is hidden by a motorized panel that slides away when it's time to fire. Despite its impressive array of features, Rust acknowledges that his suit is still a work in progress. He is already planning updates that will make it lighter, more flexible, and more comfortable for the wearer, allowing for longer periods of use. The current prototype is already wearable, though the weight and design limitations make extended use challenging. However, Rust's goal for the final version is to create a suit that offers a balance between functionality and comfort, allowing the operator to move freely while still offering protection and firepower. One of the most interesting aspects of Rust's journey is the fact that he has no formal engineering training. In today's world, where we often hear about the importance of a university education, Rust is a prime example of someone who pursued their dream despite financial limitations and life challenges. While many young people might feel discouraged by the prospect of not being able to attend university, Rust used his hands-on experience and passion to create something truly remarkable. His journey hasn't been without challenges securing the right materials, finding the time to work on the project, and adhering to South Africa's strict laws regarding firearms were all hurdles that Rust had to navigate. In fact, technically, manufacturing prototype weapons requires a license, but the laws are not strictly enforced when it comes to blank guns. Rust is aware of these legal constraints and has carefully designed his weapons to ensure they pose no real danger, adhering to safety standards while still maintaining an air of realism. Keanu Rust's story is one of passion, perseverance, and ingenuity. 
From working odd jobs to fund his dream to teaching himself the skills needed to build a functioning Iron Man suit, Rust is a true inspiration. His journey is far from over as he continues to refine his design and seek support from sponsors and investors who believe in his vision. Whether or not he ends up revolutionizing the world of functional armor, one thing is clear. Keanu Rust is a young man with a bright future ahead of him, and his Iron Man suit is just the beginning.